We're gonna do a hike up Eagle's Crest and uh, show you bits of Juno that maybe you've never seen before. And if you have, We are in Juneau on our little vacation staycation in Southeast and I'm with my buddies Jan Lane. Oh, sorry. Don't text and drive. Jan Lane <laughs> and my friend Katie. We're going to do a hike up Eagle's Crest and on North Douglas. North Douglas and uh, show you bits of Juneau that maybe you've never seen before. And if you have, it's your bag. Yeah. Aha! Oh, nice. Couple trails. Okay. So right here. During the winter time, this is a ski resort. We've been hiking for. 54 minutes, so I'm guessing that is putting us halfway up by like the reviews. So, I don't know, but it's just kind of like this gravel. So, we just talked to some ladies because we have a little split here, and they told us if we go ahead and take the right side kind of an easier slope and it actually loops around and then it's going to come back that direction. So we're going to take their advice because they look like trustworthy ladies and then um, probably just look around. They said there's a whole bunch of trails up top that you could venture but probably won't get too crazy and then we'll kind of see what happens next. The perfect day to hike it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's just right. So here we are walking the backside, coming around to that split. And this is what I like. I like the little kind of more alpine trails. Um, and there's a lot more groom than like what I'm used to in Petersburg. Everything's just more like a foot trail, like animal trail. Um, but definitely the views on the terrain. Let's see if I can line that up. Like it loops around. Well, and Charlene's like, I oh, crap. That other one over. <laughs> I heard you. I think can we just like next time just get set up here and then just do like. I Every know. Little trail. Let's just helo up and then. Yeah. Can we just get dropped? <laughs> Wait. Say that, hiking crew. What do you want to do? The well, next. We want to look at the other trail, so we want to just get dropped in. <laughs> I was actually trying to get Katie on camera, but she wouldn't. All right. Basically, what I was gonna say is, Katie, what are we doing today? We're gonna ride the tram. We're gonna do the tram. <laughs> like a real tourist. Anyways, we're gonna jump on the tram, go up, get some apps. I'm gonna take you with me. We've gone Costco, we've gone Hope Depot, we've done Petco. All the important things, and now we're gonna just play around. Shahit. Shahit is a Tlingit word for the mountain house. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway in southeast Alaska. As we head to the top, we will be passing through an Alaska temperate rainforest, averaging 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. 
Some of the trees you may notice are the western hemlock, Sitka spruce, and red alder. The stuff that you see hanging off the trees is called lichen, and it is a fungus and algae that grows together, and it only grows in areas where there is clean and limited pollution. So enjoy the fresh outdoors and mountain air. That's actually quite an amazing feat. Whoa. Wait, focus. Looking around the gift shop, we saw uh, a guy working on a totem pole named Doug Chilton. And while I was filming, he let us come in and just get a really close look. And then he invited us to start um, working on the totem pole. She's the wild one of the group, right? <laughs> she's actually the shy one. No, she's not. I'm just camera shy. She doesn't like oh. being in front of the camera. Oh. And the mask is helping your... your... It does actually help. Yeah. I like the doorknob. So you're going to grab it. That this one rolls away. This one rolls toward you. So you're like wringing it out. Okay. Good scans already. Yep. And then you want to put the tool to your left just a little bit. Yeah, so you're behind the tool. Don't let the tip of it dive in. Okay. And then just with your left hand, it's the brakes, this hand's the gas. Just pump the gas. She didn't even start it. She's already running. It's much harder than it looks. And Katie was way better with the tools than I was. Should I breathe at the same time? It's, you know what? That's the hardest uh -huh. part with these things. I'm like holding it. It's like breath. weightlifting. Yeah, remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Here. So if you come straight down, it's going to start splitting like shingles. We don't want that. Okay. So you're just going to kind of point at an angle. See, I'm holding it here. Okay. So a nice firm grip, but relax your wrist. Keep your elbow to your ribs. And just let it drop. So that's not cutting. Mm -hmm. Just put your hand It's going to come right up over the top. Let it drop, and then slowly lean in towards it. Once it starts to catch, then you just slowly shift your weight. From your left right leg to your right leg. Okay, so it's so keep the elbow in, and it's Snap more wrist. wrist. Just like you're cracking a whip. Okay. Come right up over the top of it. There you go. Now lean in towards it as you're doing that. Once it catches, then shift your weight. It was super cool to get to work on it. He said it takes about three weeks, and he would have that one done. Obviously, not with our help and our speed. So we're hiking up to, is it called Father's Cross? Father Brown's Cross. Father Brown's Cross. Just a quick hike from the Gold Belt Tram tourist shop, maybe 10, 15 minutes up to the Father Brown Cross. But you can also do the Mount Roberts hike, which is a much more extensive hike. While we were up there, a paraglider just came completely over the top of our heads. And I looked around at Katie and she just has this excited look on her face. And I completely missed him because I was looking at her instead of behind me. <laughs> she just turned around and looked so happy. And I'm like, what is it? <laughs> We did a quick stop by the Amalga Distillery where they make gin there in Juneau. Um, even if you're not much of a gin drinker, it's worth stopping by because the aesthetics and the ambiance is very neat and super cool. Okay, this is what we have for weather today. And are we glad that we did our stuff the last two days? We are packing up our bags 
kind of figuring out last bit of transportation. I'm gonna hit the airport, check our bags, and then we're gonna have a couple hours. Um, we might do Uber or taxi and just kind of bum around and we can walk around. It's just typical Southeast weather today. So that's Juno in a nutshell. And that is my stationcation trip in September, Southeast Alaska.